Hi there. Today, let's try and download IDE for Scala. We are going to look at IntelliJ and Scala IDE. But first is, why do I need IDE? If you are programming for some time, then you know why IDE. However, if you are new to programming world, then IDE or Integrated Development Environment can help you to speed up your development process. An IDE helps you with syntax, compile time errors, autocode generation, and refactoring. Let's move on to look at how we can download and install IntelliJ. So the easiest way to look out for IntelliJ download uh, is to search for Scala downloads. Google will serve you a link to Scala download page. So when you scroll down here, in the second step, you can see uh, download IntelliJ link. If you click on that, uh, Scala Downloads will leave you to IntelliJ um, download in website. Click on download and then you can look out for the respective operating system for which you want to install IntelliJ. You can choose Windows, Mac OS or Linux. I'm going to install for Linux as I'm on Ubuntu. Uh, there are two editions, Ultimate and Community. Ultimate is paid whereas Community is free. Community works very well with Scala. I would suggest to go for Community Edition. Uh, once you have tried it, then you can pay and then buy Ultimate Edition. So I have my, my download has been started. Let's wait for some time until it is downloaded. You can also get the direct link to install IntelliJ uh, by Googling out download IntelliJ and uh, Google will directly lead you to uh, IntelliJ website. Right, so uh, this is my download. Uh, I will try and uh, unzip it in my folder. So uh, there is nothing to install. It is just download and play. So once my IntelliJ folder has been downloaded, I'll go into the folder. So when you come to this folder, you can see this install linux.tar.txt. And if you open this file here, there are complete instructions of installation of IntelliJ. So uh, we are going to follow the same instructions. So I'll open it, open a terminal here. So let us execute binidea.sh. And you can see IntelliJ window opening up. Once you open up IntelliJ, there are few options available here. Uh, but before choosing any option like create project or open any project, first we need to configure Scala for our IntelliJ. So you can see a configure link down on the right hand side uh, of IntelliJ, right hand bottom of IntelliJ. Uh, you can click on configure and then go to settings tab. Uh, there are few uh, screens. Uh, there are few uh, appearances that you can choose from Dracula, GTK or IntelliJ. I have chosen Dracula. That's why you can see this black font here. Uh, next is uh, plugin. So there are either you can, there are two ways to go to plugin screen. Either you can come from uh, configure settings and then click on plugin or you can directly choose plugin from the home screen. So once you are in plugin screen, uh, click on install JetBrain plugin, which is on bottom left hand corner. And then uh, on the uh, JetBrain plugins uh, screen, look out for Scala. Once you have find Scala, just install it. So it will take a couple of minutes to download Scala. Once your Scala has been has been downloaded and installed, uh, just restart your IntelliJ. Say OK and then restart. So now we are all set to use IntelliJ. Uh, you can see a version control option. It is optional. If you want to set up your GitHub account, uh, you can do so. You can choose password and then you can give in your login name and password. I'm not setting it up now. So I'll, this is just to demo you guys like how you can set up GitHub. I'll cancel it and then um, we will start with create new project. So when you click on create new project, IntelliJ will show you several options. Choose Scala, 
choose SBT. SBT is nothing a build tool that we'll talk about in later uh, videos. It is analogous to Maven. So when you come to this new project screen, um, as I have used IntelliJ earlier, uh, you can see my JDK, SBT and Scala option um, have been auto-populated. But it is quite possible that IntelliJ asks you to provide the JDK path. So click on new and uh, go to the folder where your JDK installed, choose your JDK path and then click on OK. So for me, that, that JDK path is already available. Uh, next is you need to give a sample name to your project. I will give it as Hello World. Click on Finish. And IntelliJ will, um, pro IntelliJ will start up with a new project, Hello World. Uh, click on the project on the left um, upper corner and then you can see that IntelliJ has created you a folder structure uh, where you can place your code in uh, SRC main Scala folder and all your test cases in test Scala folder. So let's click on Scala uh, folder and then create a new file there. Let's provide uh, the file name as customary. Our first file would be hello world.scala. Click. You, you may choose to create a package here, which I'm not creating as of now. Uh, we will put down our hello world code that uh, we have uh, seen in our earlier videos here. So in order to see the output of our um, file we need to right click on hello world and then look out for the option run hello world uh, when you click on run hello world scala will again do some of its things which is invoking scala c and building our project again and then you can see um, hello world console opening up and then you can see the output as hello world from intellij now let's move on to scala ide um, and see how it works. So similar to IntelliJ will ask Google to help us to get the link for Scala uh, IDE. So Scala IDE is, and IDE is from Eclipse. For so once we have landed on Scala IDE page, we, we can click on download, look then um, pick up an operating system for which you want to install Scala IDE. So again, I'm going to choose Linux and then um, my download has started. Once uh, your Scala IDE has been downloaded, uh, it's again like IntelliJ, download and play. So I will extract Scala IDE in this folder. Once uh, it has been extracted, I'll go inside Eclipse and then click on Eclipse. So in, in, in here, it will ask you for workspace where you want to save your uh, project information either you can keep it default but i'm going to change it so click on browse option and change your uh, favorite folder so, so as we have done earlier we'll create a new project in scala ide as well so on the top ribbon you can see uh, you can see uh, file options click on new click on scala project uh, provide your project name uh, we will again provide the project name as hello world again it may ask you for um, jre uh, my jre is already configured um, so it has created me hello world project and again uh, you can see the folder structure here which is src so we'll right click on src and create our uh, first file which is hello world you are done with your coding you can just right click on the file and then choose run as and run as scala application and you can observe the output in the console as i have said earlier keep playing around to explore more options from both the ides a lot of time i get a question which one is better I do not have any preference. Uh, I have seen many times developers with Java background tend to use Scala IDE. 
even I have used Scala IDE for quite some time, but now I have moved to IntelliJ. I do not find much difference between the two. But I really like Dracula skin on my IntelliJ as it do not give uh, strain to your eyes, especially if you are working late night. Uh, however, Scala IDE dark theme is not very good. Um, choose the one that appeals to you. Hope that was helpful. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Please post your comments and suggestions.